What is going on, guys? Wiser here, and I am bringing the recap of the last war for 2.0. Uh, it was against a, guess what? South Korean farming clan. <laughs> it's like a one in three shot that the recap is going to be against the South Korean farming clan or an Arabic farming clan, one or the other. Um, they do have a lot of clans out there. Whatever, <laughs> that's what it is. These guys, however, made it a little bit closer. Um, Maybe with some questionable attacks. So there was a quite a few zero percents in there. Just throwing that out there, but that's about all I'll say in that because we still were victorious. Uh, 67 to 65. Stupid cat trying to get up on the desk. <laughs> uh, it's fantastic job, boys. Uh, really just ran the board all the way down. As you can see, nines are all three star, two stars on all the tens, the triple in there. Uh, and did get only at ones on the 11. So obviously that's a bit of a new game dealing with that Grand Warden, those extra defenses, um, and Eagle Cannon, obviously. I mean, like I said, is what it is. I believe Moose hit both of these. No, so defense went for two there. Moose hit two. Um, so is what it is, but did a really good job nonetheless. Uh, I am just going to rock off a few of these TH9 triples and call it a night. It's pretty late. Uh, so let's just jump right in here. Check out Peter's hit on number eight. Doesn't even offer a poison here. I like that. Um, brings the four earthquakes with the extra three spells. Gets really good value out of it. So you can still bring a rage for the kill squad here. Uh, Going to push. It's basically like a hybrid max attack, I guess, because you don't bring the poison. He's, and he's saving the hogs for the heals. Um, or saving the heals for the hogs, I should say. Derp. Uh, but 28 hogs he's got here. So you got to keep that in mind. That's a lot of hogs. Uh, it's going to get huge value to out of his kill squad. It gets basically this whole chunk of, of building down, no matter what it is. You see my cat right there. All over the place. Um, but no poison here. Kind of holds things up. But here's the rage, right? The queen standing in that rage is just ripping through that dragon. As soon as the dragon goes down, that loon's going to go down. And extreme patience on the king. So king goes in, starting to do some work. Locks right onto that queen. Bam, bam, bam. Still has some gold mites in there, tanking those Teslas. So king's going to rage it and... Uh, just start taking out the rest of this stuff. Queen is in there doing work. There's a lot of high hit point now, so they get stalled out. But remember, 28 hogs coming in, sprinkled in all over the place here. Uh, heal goes down for the hogs, like I mentioned. Another heal is down for those hogs. That single trip, that bomb. So looking good at this point. Really just that wizard tower. A couple Teslas, mortar, and an archer tower to go. Clean up whiz on the outside. Beautiful attack, Peter. Very, very sexy tree star. A little bit of trash, and it's in the bag. Nice job, Peter. Uh, next up on the block, we got JJ. <clears throat> Bringing some sexy Valks. Uh, I'm pretty sure the rest of the replays I have in this recap are all Valks. There were so many Valk hits. Uh, it was hard to find one that wasn't a Valk hit. Uh, and you're going to find out why, really. A double jump, like one Valk hits with a Queen Walk. They're just so viable. You can throw them in. Um, I'm very, very weary these days of stone. Like stone is very old school because you can really utilize the Valks, I believe, better than a third goal. Obviously, it's situational. That's not always the case, but in a lot of cases, um, I will say that. Uh, anywhere from three or four to eight or ten Valks, right? You can you can really do some damage. Obviously, the more Valks you bring, the smaller that hog number becomes. He's got eight here. Pretty standard. What are you doing, kitty? Jeez. What is going on here? <laughs> this is insane. Um, so anyhow, as I was rambling on about these Valks, we got eight Valks, and that leaves you generally with about 18 Hogs is, is what I, I find. The double jump is key here because one jump is going to get placed, let everything up to this wall, and then the next one is going to let everything to into basically the rest of the base. So 18 Hogs don't have to get through that much. So when you're trying to judge how to, or, or if you can, uh, Valk a base like this, the, uh, some big key components are when are you going to engage the CC because a couple of balloon drops on Valks can completely murder them. So you want to be very careful about that. Um, not a, a less That's less of an issue though than how much of the base are the Valks going to have access to for a certain amount of time, right? So they've cleared out this bottom section so they don't need to go back over this jump. It's got that second jump down. They're all working their way in. So basically they've work their way through this seam all the way up almost through the entire uh, 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock position, right? So you're just sprinkling hogs in on these outer defenses. 
and he's taking him down just one at a time, right? Like, there's no threat of double giant bombs or any bombs for that matter. And just looking fantastic at this point. So what I do is when I look at these bases, I look at, well, what can an EQ get me? What can two jumps get me? And then based on that fact, I say, okay, well, eight Valks is going to get huge value. Ten Valks is going to get huge value because they get access to the entire base. And if not, then I bring last Valks, maybe just four Valks. If you just want to give your king that extra little push like a stone would to get to that queen, um, the Valks are going to be doing damage and taking down the same buildings as the king. So if there's high hit points there, Valks are going to help a king out much more than just a third goal in tank. Just my thoughts. Um, now, a lot of guys bring wonder how do you how do you know whether you bring a go vaho or a go valo like whether you bring hogs or loons for the back end. It just depends based on what I said. Those two things, either EQ or two jumps. What does that give you? And if you're gonna get all four air defense on the way, then I would opt for a, a loon or not a la loon. Although I have seen Valks with la loon on the back end, I'd opt for loons. If I'm not really going to have, or it's going to take a really long time to get to all the air defense, I just, I, I generally will bring Hawks. I, I go with Hawks. So um, you're going to see a few more of these. Lalo brings another one right here. This one, same kind of deal, but that, hey, look, we got Earthquake and Jump. Um, it is such a crucial component when you're bringing Valks to make sure they don't get stalled on walls in the bases. It's it's kind of the same-ish theory as P.E.K.K.A.'s. Um, once they get stalled out on walls, that's when they die. So the longer you can prolong that, the way more, the more value you're going to get out of it, right? Like that's just that's just what it comes down to. So Lalo, Lalo's gone ahead, created not an insanely large funnel, but is really just smart about where he places his troops. Leaves that breadcrumb, gets them into the base. Now that they're in there, see, I was a little worried here because he does um, has the Valks right in there under the balloons, but they get through it okay. Uh, another jump goes down his back end, basically lets them into all of this. They don't get there for a little bit. Like, see, the queen's still working on that storage. She's going to step up, start working on that dragon. Dragon's been in there the entire time, just doing work on these troops. I'm pretty sure it's been locked on that goal the entire time. Still makes the jump and triggers the bomb, like all of that stuff. So, again, like, like I said, just judge it, right? It, that is a big investment. Four earthquakes with a jump. Like, that's six of your spell slots. Um, just for those Vox, so make sure they're getting the value. Uh, as you can see, Lalo does it here, and it is basically clean up. Cannon goes down. See, all those Vox are dead, though, because they, they just took fire under that the splash from that dragon so much. It was just too much for them. Um, but everything, it, it bought the king time and everything and that golden time to get in there, right? They're just, they soak up just as much uh, hit points as, uh, as golems, in a sense. Not... You know, four Valks is very close to the hit point total, uh, but way more damage. So that's that's about all I'll say. And we're just going to keep watching a couple more of these to continue to prove my point that Valks are just awesome. What else do I have here? 21. Good old Sean. Six Valks. So here's a different number. Here's a little bit different way of doing it. Still a double jump, but brings a double poison, two heals. Same go oh, oh. Sorry about my headset there, guys. Um, really just uh, busts open a huge, huge section. Like, right? Like, he's creating this huge funnel. That's another big, big piece. Like, when you're deciding whether you can bring Valks, you also got to decide on where would you want to enter from. And is that possible based on having two golems to create a funnel with? Um, Right, these are all things you need, you need to think about when you're attacking. If, if you want to bring eight Valks, that's awesome. There has to be an either your ability to do what Sean's done here and just take everything out possible on the outside for them to go to, or just take a few buildings out on either side and and deploy them early. But then if you're deploying them early, you need to make sure you're taking care, care of that clan castle earlier than you would if uh, if you're waiting as long as Sean does here. Right, so there's all a lot of little factors, but Valks are in there taking down that clan castle. Queen's in there doing work. King is walking now over to that queen finally. He's going to rage it up, lock on, down she goes. Their job is done. But 42, 43% of this base is dead, and then he finally sends in 18 hogs. 
<laughs> or more than that because he only had six, uh, six Valks, I think. Uh, but Heel goes down, taking care of them. He's still got 10 more Hogs he's got to send in. couple on that Arch Tower is just going to kind of keep sprinkling as the Hogs move. This is another key point. If you just kind of dump all your Hogs, they're pro they there's a good chance they might hit a bomb. There's a lot of like just different factors. So when you're when are you using eight valves, you really got to play this game you call called follow the valves. And as your valves work through the base, because you can't entirely judge where they're gonna go, you're going to want to start sprinkling in your hogs or balloons as they hit certain checkpoints. Um, I make checkpoints in the base when I valve, and I say, okay, when they hit this second jump or when they this defense is targeting them or when this building is being destroyed, that's when I'm gonna start, That's I use it as like trigger points for me to start sending in hogs or balloons, depending on what I'm doing. So uh, something else to think about when you're planning your attacks, guys. Sexy tree star, Sean. Another Valk tree star in the bag. Oh, a few more trash. Nice job, buddy. All right, I'm gonna show you one more here. Good old Nammer. Nice six star war, buddy. Nammer brings five belts. Here's a bit different idea. It does not have two golems. Just brings a cold blooded golem. And here's the swap out is for these four healers on this Arch Queen. Gets a really insanely good value out of this little kind of Arch Queen walk. Um, I said this in a video before, and I'll say it again. My problem, if you just if you're trying to decide to bring the cold blooded entry, which is one goal, is creating your funnel. Um, it's very difficult to create a funnel with just one goal. However, um, sometimes through the use of minions, like Namor is doing here, or through the use of an Archer Queen walk, you can create one side of the funnel. Um, so everything's just going splendidly here. He draws out this Lava Hound. He's going to draw the Lava Hound right over the Queen. She's going to get stalled up, but drops the poison, help with the skeletons. Just going to fast forward this a little bit, but I see he's already started creating a funnel with these uh, minions down here. Um, really just got a lot of good trash buildings, and here comes the Golem. So the, remember that minion? See, it killed those two buildings down there. Now his funnel's created on this side, and guess what? The Arch Queen's created the funnel on the other side. So he just needs the one Golem. So... You see what I'm saying, guys? Uh, if you're going cold-blooded, it's kind of got to be comped with something else like that, just in my opinion. I mean, there's certain bases or crummy bases that, yeah, you can just bring one golem and rock in there and, and get the job done. But uh, Namor just destroys it. King is in there doing serious work now. Oops, I got a plus two. My bad. Uh, hogs have gone in, though, under the heel. He's got a ton of hogs sprinkling in for only, like, one, two, three, four, five defenses left, six defenses left remaining. Um just fantastic hit there, Namor. I really like the little little Arch Queen walk there. She ends up charging into the base here too and doing some cleanup there. <clears throat> Mortar is down. Last defense. Cleanup time. Nice job. So guys, if you're thinking of taking Valks, I highly recommend you look at it um, and just judge. Be the judge, right? You're generally going to need two golems. Um, if you do something a little creative like Namor did here, you can get away with one goal, but uh, my general Valk army comp, uh, this my, in my opinion, the standard Govaho army comp is two golems, eight Valks. Uh, I think you can get seven wizards and 18 hawks. Now, depending on the base and depending on what you see and what value you think you can get based on, and sorry, and two jumps and two heals and two poison. Now, that standard. You got to take that standard army comp and it fit it to the base that you're attacking, right? Can you bring less Valks? Can you bring more Valks? Do you even want to bring that many Valks, right? Like, do you want to bring a little Arch Queen mock? Do you want it, right? So you just got to modify the attack from that. That's my opinion. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a Valk special episode. Uh, fairly close war with these Koreans. Um, <laughs> a little closer than we have liked, but uh, we did what we we did what we could and we came away with the victory. So that is fantastic. Nice job, 2.0. Uh, should be having a, a range match for 2.0 as well coming up very soon. Very excited about that. Uh, when I get more details, I'll fill you in. So that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next three star. And until then, I'm out.